Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm back with another freak Grand Order video here to talk about the thing that is the thing. It's the thing that happened. It's the only thing that's happening right now. Ignore the fact that Delman and Suna are in the background. It doesn't really matter because I'm here to talk about the fact that we have pity early. That's right. It happened in Korea. It's technically, yeah, it happened in Korea. It's happening, I think, right now or something. Or it's happening for their anniversary, which is right now, so they got it. Which means we get to have it early, but it's not for the same circumstances. It's weird. Anyway, I don't know fully. All I care about is that Pity is here, and that's going to be today's video talking about it. So if you enjoy the video, feel free to leave a like, comment, subscribe, do all that stuff. Let's get into it. So if you don't know, yeah, Fago has a Pity system. It's not the greatest Pity system in the world, because let me tell you, the Fago fan base will gladly tell you that it's not the greatest Pity system in the world. Um, but it is a pity system, which is better than what we had previously, which was no pity system. So this is what it is for the people who don't know. So guaranteed summon functions added to the limited time pickup summons. With this new function, one copy of a pickup SSR servant is guaranteed within the first 330 summons, aka 30, 30 multis or 30 summon, 300 summons. You get a free one every 10. That's why they rounded it up. That's why it's not 300 summons. Because if it was 300 summons... That would be less. So, instead of counting it, they decided to go this way. Whatever. So, the number of summons you have performed will all be consumed individually for each pickup summon. Summons using paid sync quartz, free sync quartz, and summon tickets will all be eligible. Summons will be counted individually for each limited time pickup summon. In addition, the summon count will be calculated separately for each pickup period where the summon lineup changes within a daily pickup summon. Once you have summoned a copy of the pickup SSR servant, the guaranteed summon function will be disabled for that pickup summon, and you will be able to check from previous uh, summon history up to 500 summons using the same uh, summon history function of each summon page. Please check the news article and something for more detail. So what does that basically mean? It basically means that this is the death of the solo rate up um, four stars. This is basically it. The reason is is that they stopped doing it on JP because they realized that no one would summon on banners that just constantly rotate. Because when there's a pity system, people want the SSR. So that actually makes it so that it's probably actually harder to get 4-star servants that are on banners. Which is really funny. I think it's probably not going to matter unless it's specifically on the JP side of the game. Uh, it's a very weird, tiny, minuscule problem here. The greater problem is that it changes every time it switches out. There should be an update to it that makes it so it's not like that. And honestly, on the JP side of the game, they should look into making it so it doesn't change like that. It's extremely stupid. I don't fully understand why. Especially because they have the caveat there that says if a pickup SSR is gone in, then the guaranteed summon is non-functioning. So even if you were to do like 10 multis on, let's say Raiko and Shunen shared a banner, if you did 10 multis and got Raiko and said like, oh, but I'm close to the pity, I can just wait for Raiko and then do the additional summons, you can't because the pity is gone. So there's really no reason for them to have um, this rotating out thing for when there's multiple featured SSRs. It really just doesn't make any sense and they should update it at some point. Um, on the JP version, I would hope that would be the change of it. But we'll see, hey, it, it might take a while for them to do it. It took a while for them to even get pity. So what what does this really benefit? Um, it really benefits two kinds of people. For the people who just summon on a will and have like a certain amount of quartz that they have and they're like, screw it, I'm summoning, no amount of pity was ever going to be good enough for you. Because the answer is, is that you don't actually save anything. <laughs> so there's really no... There's really nothing we can do with you in that specific situation. It really only benefits two people, and those are whales, and it is the dudes who summon for two years on end. Those are the people who benefit from this update. The people who were, like, always summoning, always summoning, and going, like, well, I want every unit, or I want to just always summon, and I'm just going to summon, and there should be a pity. They would have to have made the pity so insanely low for it to function for everyone that it just is unrealistic and they're like no we're not gonna cater to these people and you can if you're one of those people then yeah it sucks it really does it's unfortunate that there's not a better way of doing pity like for example genshin has a fantastic pity uh it's the only good thing about genshin as far as i'm concerned where the pity carries over from banner to banner so you can in theory save and you can also do willy-nilly summons and go for the four star and that's good, and that's a great pity system. I wish Fago had something like that, but they don't have that. They have this. 
which is works for me because I'm someone who likes to do a whole bunch of saving. And in my entire plans for savings, which I've done plenty on videos, I'm gonna have to redo them all because at no point did I ever think that the pity system would be coming early. So that kind of changes absolutely everything about how I was planning on summoning and how I was doing planning on doing anything. So huh, that's a little bit different. And yeah, I do think that this is a good thing for the game. If you're someone who thinks that this is a bad system added for the game, then you're just actually just wrong. You're just 100% wrong. And the reason is, is that people always go like, oh man, such an impossible pity system. Who would ever reach that? And then you have a guy come in and he goes like, I spent over 3,000 cores and didn't get the unit. And the answer is, oh, it's for them. It's for, it's for people like that. It's never was going to be for... Um, regular people, which is what a pity system is usually supposed to be. It's very rare for a pity system to actually cater to people who aren't whales. It's the way it is. Now, the good thing for us in NA, this is a different story, because we have two years of planning. Now, obviously, we didn't plan for this to come in, but for the most part, most servants have to show up on a certain schedule. I'll see about that when if we get Muramasa on Thanksgiving, but at this point, I don't think it's happening. Um... But for the most part, we can plan and trade. For example, all the people who were planning for Muramasa, who were just like saving for Muramasa and being like, well, I have like a thousand Saint Quartz and I hope that's enough because, oh God, everyone knows it's not enough. It's now enough. You you just straight up get him now. And now you actually have a little bit more wiggle room if maybe you want to like uh, summon on something else. And that's where I say like it benefits the people who actually do a crazy amounts of spending. And if it was any other game, like on the JP version of this game, it's not as useful. Because on the JP version of the game, it is not possible to save. <laughs> I'm going to say that right now. If you're someone who does crazy amounts of spending, you have to be some kind of Buddhist monk. Because that is a level of patience that I would never see. If I was telling you right now, if I was saving on JP going, I know for New Year's it's going to be a crazy unit. None of that would have mattered the second Brittle Mart came out. I would have thrown absolutely everything I had... <laughs> Ed would have been like, damn, that sucks. Because it's just not possible to build up the pity required in a regular amount. So, uh, And if you are curious, I believe the amount needed is... Let me see. I did the calculation so long ago. But at 30, 30 quarts of multi times around... What was it? 300? No, it's a 300. That would be 30. 900 cent quarts is about around what you would need. Or if you're doing tickets, you would need around... <laughs> 900 tickets doesn't sound right, but it is uh, 90 tickets, I think. No, that doesn't sound right either. No, you would need 300, 300 tickets in order for it to guarantee. There you go, that's the right amount. It's one ticket per summon, so there you go. Um, again, it benefits saving if you're someone who saves a whole bunch. I don't think it actually benefits people who go for regular summons. For you, the only thing that's changed is that now it's a little bit more of a pain in the ass to get four stars. Um, which sucks, and I think that they should change it some kind. But in general, uh, I'm excited for this kind of update, because it's a good update to do early. I never thought it was going to be updated early, because I thought the JP side of the game would be kind of mad that the NA side would be able to get it a little bit earlier. Um, it's crazy to get it early. Like, the fact that they're springing it on it now, before, like... Uh, well, first of all, rip to all the people who summoned beforehand. <laughs> But I don't think... NA is such a, like, a different beast that I really do think like there's more people who save than there are people who just like willy-nilly summon. But you can feel free to tell me how you feel about that specifically. I know. I come from a very specific mindset, which is in previous videos, whenever I did a video, because I do a lot of saving videos, my thing was always, I'm hoping to save this much. Is it enough? No. The answer was always, is this enough to get the guaranteed? I can do all the math I want, which says statistically, if you spend around this much on a multi on a banner, it means that you have a chance of getting a 5 star. And let me tell you, when you put a calculation down in math, the calculation will always come out a certain way. That's right, because that's math, that makes sense. But in actual practice, that doesn't work out that way. You could tell me to my face, the statistics of you getting a 5 star in around mm, 10 multis in Fago is good, which means you should at least get 1, not saying the featured, but you should at least get 1, or you would get the featured 4 star in 10 multis. And the amount of times I've done both of those things and I've gotten none of the results shown, 
shows to you that <laughs> the map is not always necessarily right. It tells you what could happen, not what will happen when it's actuality, because luck plays a huge factor into all this and so many other things that play into it. It's insane. So, yeah, I'm happy to see the the summon the this feature here early. I'm always happy when the features are here early. I'm probably going to have to redo some videos. Uh, this completely changes the video I had planned, which was coming up for how, what am I going to do with for next year? Because now the answer is I really just kind of want to save up 900 sync quartz. And if I'm being 100% real with you, it almost makes me feel like I should be skipping most banners and just waiting until I have 900 SQ. Um, because now I can guarantee myself that I'm going to be getting the anniversary unit, which is not something I could previously say. In, which is going to be the next um, Buster support. Or, hell, even Morgan. I can now pity Morgan. My original plan was I'll pity Morgan when she shows up again. Because she has like 27 different banners. It's different now. The whole world has changed as far as I'm concerned. And you can start planning out now. And yeah. And of course, again, if you're someone who was... <laughs> Again, if you are someone who took very great advantage to the fact that there were solo raid ups, yes, this is unfortunate for you. If you're someone who does not save, then this doesn't mean anything. You know what changes for you in this post world is that now you know that you're never going to have enough for the pity. But if we're being 100% real here, you don't save, so you were never going to have enough for the pity. And if you told me, if you tell me how much SQ you save on average, and that would be the amount. To actually, that'd be interesting. If you're someone who's like this specifically, what would be the SQ amount? Because you have to remember, up until this point, Fago views five stars as something worth having. There's no six star rating. It's different from when you think of other games. Like for example, I like to think of Dokkan is a good example. What is the worth of a Dokkan SSR? Nothing. A Dokkan SSR is worthless <laughs> because you get one for uh, multi. So the actual value of an SSR is worthless. What is the advantage of a TUR? Also worthless, because most SSR goes into TURs. Now, what is the worth of a Dokkan Fest? Slightly more useful, but still useless, because there's too many of them. What is the use of an LR? It's a little bit of a different story. Now, what about a Dokkan Fest LR? Less of those in the game. That's a little bit more valuable. That's something that's kind of worth getting and kind of going a little bit for. And then you have the ultimate tier of the new version of the LR, which are with the teal banners who are actually, and you can't pity them at the moment because they don't even have the system in place to let you, well, there's no pity in Dokkan, first of all, but they don't have the coin system set up for um, bird coup. So you can't even, in theory, get him at the moment because there's no way for you to exchange that's something you have to keep in mind here is that for all intents and purposes the five star is the end all be all for for go there's no six star if there was a six star then yes i would say the pity would have to go down but for now the what they care about most are these five stars and that's a good and bad thing for a lot of different people but i'm rambling on at this point that's how i feel i think pity is good glad to see it here early I'm definitely one of those people who's pro-pity. I think it's a good move, and I do think that they can improve upon it. I think that's the best that you can say. Uh, if you're someone who's outright saying, like, they may as well not have had any pity, then you are actively ignoring how much it took to actually get a unit. You have never summoned that much for uh, a Fago unit, and it shows. It shows that you're someone who maybe did three multis and said, this is crap. I should be able to get the SSR by now. That's just not the way it goes. And again, the one, the thing I would probably say would be worth having is that if they were to keep the summon amount, which is 300 and uh, doing around 30 multis or so, or 330 summons, as they say now, which is basically like 300 summons, which is 900 SQ, is that they should adopt something a little bit more like Genshin where it actually moves on and goes on to the best one, what best one. I think that's probably what's best, but I think that they value it too much and it's never going to be that way. So you just kind of have to hope that they eventually bring back the 4 rate up and at least make it so that the pity does not <laughs> change completely when a new day comes in. But that's my specific feelings on it. Until next time, everyone, you guys have a good day, you have a good night, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.